Hey there, it's CJ William. Today is pack number three in my Magic the Gathering Kaldheim bundle. The focus of the video is what is your pick? As I crack the pack, I will discuss which card would be my pack one pick one. My viewpoint will be from a very casual Magic the Gathering player perspective. It will not be a pro tour grinder or even Friday Night Magic grinder take. It will be a kitchen table draft having fun with friends opinion. Check out the preview video on my Kaldheim bundle. I have added the link to the preview video in the description below. Let's get to cracking pack number three. First up is Battlefield Raptor Single White Mana, Bird at 1-2, it has Flying and First Strike. I found Battlefield Raptor to be a pretty good pickup if you're going to go aggressive, either Mono White, Mono Red, or White Red. Next is Berg Strider, 5 mana, 4 and a blue, Snow Creature, Giant Wizard at 4-4. Four, four. When Berg Strider enters the battlefield, tap target artifact or creature an opponent controls. If Snow was spent to cast this spell, that permanent doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. This card works out pretty well in a slightly aggressive blue-red, possibly blue-green. Get my pile straightened up here. Next up is Craven Hulk, 4 mana, 3 and a red, giant coward at 4-4. Four, four. Craven Hulk can't block alone. These two actually fit together pretty well in an aggressive blue-red strategy. Mammoth Growth, 3 mana, 200 green, instant. Target creature gets plus 4, plus 4 until end of turn. Foretell for a single green mana. Definitely want to foretell it later on the game for a single green mana. Blow out your opponent with plus 4, plus 4. Priest of Haunted Edge, 2 mana, 1 and a black. Snow Creature Zombie Cleric at 0-4. You can tap it, sacrifice priest of the haunted edge. Target creature gets negative X, negative X until end of turn, where X is the number of snowlands you control. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. In a typical draft, you might have one or two snowlands. You can't activate it at instant speed. Significant drawback. Aside from that, it's a 0-4 blocker that clogs up the ground game. Bind the monster single blue mana, enchantment or enchant creature. When bind the monster enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. It deals damage to you equal to its power. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. This is a useful lockdown card in blue. However, when you lock down their bomb, it's going to deal damage as if it attacked you one turn. Starnheim Courser, three mana, two and a white. Pegasus, it's a flyer at two, two. Artifact and enchantment spells you cost cast one generic less to cast. I like this in a blue-white flyers deck. You'll have plenty of artifacts and enchantments that you'll reduce the cost and hopefully fly your way to victory. Scorn Effigy, three generic mana artifact creature Scarecrow at 2-3 has foretell cost for zero. I've yet to find a deck where I felt really good playing this card. Roots of Wisdom, two mana, one and a green sorcery. Mill three cards, then return a land card or elf card from your graveyard to your hand. If you can't, draw a card. Even though it's limited to elves, if you're playing black green elves, this card is perfect in that deck. Smashing success, four mana, three and a red, instant. Destroy target artifact or land. If an artifact is destroyed this way, create a treasure token. I'm not a fan of land destruction, moving on. First in common is Litjara Glade Warden, 4 mana, 3 and a green, Shapeshifter at 3-3, three, three. it has Changeling. You can pay 2 and a green, tap it, exile a creature card from your graveyard, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature, activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. Where this card makes a lot of hay is in its second ability. Even though you can only activate it at sorcery speed, it's still a great card to put counters on your creatures and make them bigger. Binding the Old Gods, 4 mana, 2 and a black, and a green. Enchantment Saga, first chapter, destroy target non-land permanent opponent controls. 
Second chapter, search your library for a force card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Third chapter, creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. I think this card is fantastic. It fits right into what you want to do in a black green strategy. Ascent of the Worthy, three mana, one generic, one white, one black. First chapter and second chapter are the same. Choose a creature you control until your next turn. All damage that would be dealt to creatures you control is dealt to that creature instead. Third chapter, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a flying counter on it. That creature is an angel warrior in addition to its other types. The key to this card is you want to have a decent creature that will have an enter the battlefield ability that you'll choose in either chapters one and two. On chapter three, you'll be able to bring it back. You'll get the enter the battlefield ability. Okay, well we get a great rare or a mythic rare. We have a mythic, Orvar the All Form, four mana, three and a blue, legendary creature shapeshifter at three three, has changeling. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of one of those permanents. When a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this card, create a token that's a copy of target permanent. Orvar is a pretty strong card in a Spells Matter deck. Hopefully you'll be able to grab enough cards that you can target your own permanents so that you can create copies and take over the game. And then we have a dual Snowland, Highland Forest, enters the battlefield tapped and then one of the cards you can use in lieu of a modal double face card if you're not playing sleeves. My favorite card, our best card out of the pack, is definitely going to be pack one, pick one. Orvar is a very strong card, especially if you build around getting instants and sorceries that target your permanence. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comment section what was your favorite card or the best card out of the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number four for my Magic the Gathering Kaldheim bundle in what is your pick.